Greetings, everyone, and as promised, I am doing the R. Kelly Appeal TV Get In Tune in June series, and this is a meditation for Robert Sylvester Kelly to have the mindset that's needed in order to get him through this trying time in his life. So if you can, please shut off all noise that could interfere with this meditation, your phone, and um, please do not drive while listening to this meditation. I want you to take a deep breath in, hold it 10 seconds, and release. Let's do that again. Breathe in. Hold. And release. Three of the charm. One more time. Inhale. And release. You know, sometimes we are given a task that seems so extreme just so we can prevail through and learn. And that is very important right now for Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly. So I want to put into the mindsets of those who truly care about Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly. We must know that R. Kelly was very young. He was a young man. He was wild. He was inexperienced. But all of that fame, success, and love was shown to him. No one taught him how to be a superstar. And our prayers go out to that in and of itself. Keep breathing. Listen to your breath. Inhale, exhale at a very light. In and out. People always have their agendas. And those agendas make things more than what it should be. than what it should be. And the role of today's conversation is to help in everyday situations that we're facing while waiting on our loved one who was incarcerated to come home. And this inspiration should drive us to challenge ourselves and conquer our own fears and reach higher depths of experience ourselves, to uplift and motivate others, and open ourselves to the newest of ideas and creative passions. Inspiration creates the opportunity to become confident, and that is what Robert Sylvester Kelly is in need of. So I ran into some quotes that I want to share with you today that I want you to keep in mind in relating to Robert Sylvester Kelly as we meditate upon him. You are in the midst of the storm, Robert. All friends have left you. 
that were not for your good, for a reason, for your good. And you'll be okay. You just must remember what you've been taught. You must remember what you've been taught. Joanne has taught you well. Yes, she has. She taught you to believe in the Most High. And that's going to help you get through all that you are enduring right now. I know your spirit was very disturbed yesterday. I know. And I pray that you have found strength from what you've heard. In the middle of a difficult situation, Robert, there is an opportunity. And this opportunity comes from within you. There is power within you. And there is power within those who love you. Because those who love you send out beautiful angelic symbols to their thoughts to the universe and the higher power will receive that and I really believe that Rob I mean everybody might not believe everything I'm saying here and it's okay but it's just my personal belief that we create our destiny from the thoughts and the things we speak. Start by doing what's necessary. Then do what's possible. And suddenly you are doing the impossible because you are possible. Even in the word uh, impossible, I am possible. You have to repeat that to yourself every day. I am possible. I am possible. And start with you first. A friend of mine a long time ago told me, as being a single parent, that it starts with me being healthy, me getting rest, me going on trips, me focusing on me. Mr. Mo Moreland, when I was in the midst of a storm, he was there, he was there. And I thank you, Mo. But he always said that in order for me to be the best parent, I needed to do everything for me first. And then, in that state of tranquil, tranquil mobility, I moved towards helping my children, teaching my children, talking and expressing to my children, healing my children from within when life situations come to them. Start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. You know, Rob, sometimes it takes one step to begin a journey of many, many miles. And when we do that, and we take that first step, Sometimes we're shaken. Sometimes we're in the greatest fear. But if our mind is aligned to what we are focused on, oh man. Because Confucius says, which is a philosopher, 
and a, a educator of knowledge, wisdom. Confucius says, when one door is open, another door closes behind to end the journey so that a new door can give us new opportunity. But we're so busy looking at the door that closed, we don't respect and understand the door that's actually opened for us. Why? Comfort, comfortable. And in comfort, a lot of people lose their opportunities. So if we look for something positive in each day, even if we just went outside in the morning and catched a breath of fresh air from the freshest, newest air that's at 6 in the morning or 5 in the morning, that is powerful. Looking for something each day that's positive, even when we have those hard days, will make us inspiring and confident. So we, we bring these positive attributions to Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly right now and all the names of the Most High that we use, God, Buddha, Yahweh, Shalom, Samanra, all the powerful energies that are within our ancestral being that moves and rises and runs through us. You see, I was told by another good friend, Mr. Jermaine Fitzgerald, that if the ocean has water and we go and get a cup of that water and we drink it, it's not the same water that flows through the ocean now flowing through us. And this means, ladies and gentlemen, this means that we have the same power element as the ocean. You know, we have that ability. And we now submit and transmit that energy to heal Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly right now and what he's going through and the wrench that has been thrown in his way to put that fear and intimidation within him for not having pled the way that someone felt he should. There's always punishment from man. There would never be punishment for the one who created the thought of who we are. The essence. There is no punishment in essence. So we need to be aware of that. And we need to conjure in our minds the best solution for us. Because in any storm, it is a frightening thing. But let us take the wheel through our God source within us that runs all that we believe and watch how we can maneuver and learn things in an instant. An instant moment. So, Rob, you know you are loved by many, many, many people. And your best friend, Michael Jordan, said that he's missed more than 9,000 shots in his career. He's lost almost 300 games, 26 times 
He's been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed that he's failed over and over and over again in his life. And that is why he succeeds. So, I think that is very aligned in what we're talking about here today. Because it's during our darkest moments that the focus and the mission is to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And you can't see it in the darkness because as we said before, you close your eyes, all you see is darkness. You have to search for that light. And you might have to sit in the darkness for a while just to search for the light that you're going to create. Aristotle said that. The outcome is not in your control. What's in your control, Robert, is your effort and your intention. You need to know that. Whatever the mind that created you, that you know so well in your psychological aspects of thought, can believe and can see, you already know, Rob, because you've done it a million times. It can be achieved. So we have to keep remembering that for you. We are the voice. Mark Kelly of Hill TV, we are the voice. All those who love Rob Sylvester Kelly, Robert Sylvester Kelly, a.k.a. R. Kelly, we are the voice. They can't mute us, so he is, he can't be muted. You can't be muted, Rob. There is no mute button. Even though we tell the naysayers and the haters to shut up, we see that they continue to speak. So it's okay. They speak, we speak. It's a tennis match. Let's play. That sentence in guideline standard form is nothing more than a musical instrument that's played with levels of height you move in order to make music or a piano. The sound that you take out of it is reduced. The sounds that you make is billboard charted. So that's up to the spirit to do. And there was a time when we lived off of mental telepathy and that helped us. We knew what each other needed, wanted, desired, and we made it happen. We moved mountains and we created pyramids. We created a life for ourselves. Now it's time for us to come to the understanding that we hold the power within us through our God source that makes things change. We're requesting that our higher power help move Robert Sylvester Kelly out of this situation that he is now facing and give him the strength, the courage, the understanding, the wisdom, the knowledge the inspiration, the help, the confidence, the self-motivation, the inspiration, the very thing that made him a superstar. He knows how to do it. You know how to do it, Rob. You've been doing it for 30 years. It's nothing new. This is nothing new to you. It's just off stage. 
you know what your heart was feeling when you were helping all those people. You know why you did it. It may have looked something else to someone on the outside looking in, but you know. You know what it's about. And it's not what we do for our children. It's not what we buy them. It's not how good we make their hair look. It's not how good we spend all this money to put them in college. But it's what we have taught them to do for themselves that will make them successful humans in the end. And Landers, thank you. have to also remember people are asking why is this being done why is this being done there's a new heaven and a new earth according to the biblical text and man we are no longer a product of our circumstances because we understand and we know what is going on our eyes are awakened Rob your eyes are awakened and sometimes it's hard to see the reality that we are truly a product of our decisions. And now we take those decisions that we've made, we rectify them, we let them go, we heal from them. No, there's a process. We recognize them. We heal from them. by acknowledging them, and then we release them. Our decisions do not make us who we are today from what we did in the past. The only time it does is when we continue to continue to continue to make those same decisions. And Aristotle said, there's only one way to avoid criticism. Telling people nothing, saying nothing, and being nothing. And that's the best way to avoid being criticized. But we don't want to do that. We want to live. We want to be a success. Your musical peer, John Lennon, said when he was five years old, his mother always told him that happiness was the key to life. When he went to school, they asked him what he wanted to be when he grew up. He wrote down happy. They told him he didn't understand the assignment. And I told them they didn't understand life. So we have to move through life the way that is best for us and how we understand it. We have to understand it. Everyone is not going to uniformly understand life the same way. Everyone's morals are different. Their loyalty is different. Their truth is different. And no one can make us feel less than, inferior, or, or nothing unless we allow them to. President's wife, Eleanor Roosevelt. When we change our thoughts, we change our world. Norman Vincent Peale. So we take these inspirational thoughts and we reach out to our loved one, Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly, and 
let him know that he is not forgotten and the P.O. box may be packed and you may not be able to receive them all, but expect them to overflow with love, consideration, compassion, empathy, sincerity, and communicate that with your own higher power and ease your mind. Now we're going to take some time to quiet this meditation and then I will come back to reawaken the thought and to conclude.
Now we are going to conclude this meditation. We hope that it has helped you to ease your mind. And anytime you feel that you need to come back and listen to this recording, please save in your playlist. And when you're in doubt, just re-listen, re-listen. Because there's something new that you will hear each and every time. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing to this podcast. And we bless you, Robert, because it's all being done for you. And with that, we'll see you next time. Keep it 100.